Actually, I think I'm going to tell the story of Silent Piano today. So, <clears throat> when uh, Deanna and I first got married, I was still doing music. Uh, well, actually, this was this particular song was written before we got married. It was when we were engaged, <clears throat> and I came to a realization uh, about a year, year and a half before we actually got married that. As much as I loved my music and the things that I was doing, it was going to be extremely difficult to make a living at it. And I sat down one day and I started playing the piano, just improvising, and I, this thought was very pervasive in my head at the time. And by the time I was done improvising, I had come to the realization that I probably was going to have to give up music for quite some time, if not completely, because I loved it too much and I couldn't bring myself to do it half-assed. So Silent Piano is all about that particular struggle and about the resolution or resolve that um, as a musician, sometimes you have to give up what you love so that you can provide for those that you love. And so uh, that's what Silent Piano is about. It's about the giving it up. The good news, I guess, not knowing it back when I wrote the piece is that you can come back to it and you can come back to it stronger and you can do much more with it uh, when you come back to it. So whether that's me being a little bit older, maybe a little bit wiser, in any case, you can come back. And knowing what I know now about music and about my life, I'm able to bring much more to the table and I would say that all of the fears, all the concerns about being able to be successful in music are still there, but they are now tempered with the realities of what needs to be done to move past them. And I really think, well, I really know, that over the next few weeks, ding, 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 but over the next few years, I will be able to be successful in making uh, a living from the music and maintaining the art that I feel is absolutely crucial. As a matter of fact, I truly believe that the art that I'll be bringing to the music will be the reason why it's commercial. Uh, there's plenty of music out there, but very little bit of it where people are willing to be vulnerable enough to actually put it all out there and leave it on the tape. So, that's where we're at for that. <clears throat> so, hopefully people will join with me over this video and others, and hopefully they'll just join with me on it. That's about it. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your time. It's very important to me that you have your time and that I provide value. So I will bid you adieu. And the Monticello is not the upright cello, but rather the flat road in the Corona area. Enjoy it, ride upon it, and know that all roads lead to Trantor. <laughs>